the second week in Advent, and uh, it's all end of the worldy still because Advent is God showing up. And uh, in our gospel reading for uh, this past Sunday, uh, we get a chance to recognize that God will return and there will be an end to all of the things. And so in our text, we, we get to sort of see a taste of the end times, and they don't sound great from uh, the Gospel of Luke, the 21st chapter. Jesus said there will be signs in the sun and moon and stars and on the earth, distress and nations in perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves, people fainting with fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, when you see these things begin to take place, straighten up, raise up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. We get so caught up on the signs that we almost forget what they mean. We get so caught up on the distress of nations part, of the fear and the foreboding part, of the 24-hour news network parts, that we are convinced that it is actually the end of the world, and that it's our job to put that off. That it's our job to sort of somehow prop up all of these plates that are wobbling and about to fall over. And if we can only find a way to do that, then we will have peace. But the problem with trying so hard to address one catastrophe after another isn't just that it is utterly exhausting because of the terror, but it's that it leaves us by the end of it crippled, hunched over onto ourselves and curved inward, looking if only for an escape. When these things begin to take place, don't forget what it means. Don't mix, us, don't mix up the signs for what they're pointing to. Lift up your heads. Your redemption is drawing near. Lift up your heads. It's a call to be bold in these last great days. This is an exciting time to be a Lutheran. This is an exciting time to be a Christian. This is an exciting time when everything is falling apart because there will come a day when you realize that you don't actually need to prop it up, but all of the things that are wobbling are simply pointing to the fact that they have already been redeemed, and the more they wobble, the closer redemption is going to get. See, our Lord does not stand afar from all of the things falling apart, but he dives into the mix, and he has promised to return in glory. He will advent. He will show up. And so when all of the things are going wrong, when the world seems like it is falling apart, this is not a time to hide. This is a time to be bold. This is a time to recognize that your Lord has already advented once to redeem you and that he will return on that last great day. And until then, when everything is falling apart, our Lord still advents in word and in sacrament, in body and in blood. God is not far away from you, but he draws near to comfort in these last great days so that you would lift up your head. Don't look down. Lift up your head and actually see. The peace of the Lord is with you. Your pastor holds up the body and blood of Jesus, and you can lift up your head and see it. Lift up your head when he places the body of Christ into your mouth. Lift up your head and recognize that of all of the things that we think will bring about our salvation, you're being fed with the one thing that actually does. Christ feeds you with his body and blood. He brings to you redemption. Do not be afraid, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, but lift up your heads. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.